Does your cat hate being picked up? In this cat training tutorial, we are gonna change that. I'm gonna show you how to teach your cat to like being held. Welcome to Cat School. We are Julian Jones, and we show you how to teach your cat fun tricks and practical skills to enrich their life and strengthen your bond. I did an Instagram survey to see how many cats do not like being picked up. You can see that the number is quite high. So why do so many cats not like being picked up and carried? Cats need to be in control of their environment, and when you pick up your cat and restrain them, they lose that sense of control. Cats feel safest when they have four feet planted on a stable surface. When you pick them up, you take away their stability. When you pick up your cat, you might be holding them in places that are sensitive to touch, and it could be uncomfortable for them. So what is the best way for you to hold your cat? I call it the shoulder carry method. In this method, the cat puts their paws on your shoulder and then you pick them up from their hind end. This training to work, you need really good food that your cat loves. If you've seen my tutorial on how cats learn, you'll know that we can use counter conditioning to change a cat's feelings about something they don't like. Place your arm against the wall and then use food to guide your cat into the position where they put their two paws on your arm feed them in this position. You're showing your cat that being in this position is a good thing because they get a delicious treat. If your cat is comfortable doing that, you're gonna to move to the next step where they put their paws on your shoulder. So notice how I'm bending my arm here. I'm drawing him up so that his paws are going a little bit higher. I draw the treat forward to guide him up. Once he's in position, I let him lick the treat. In this step, we're going to get the cat more comfortable with you touching their hind end. Remember, when we hold them in the shoulder carry position, our arm is going to be under their bum. Once Jones has his paws on my shoulder, I touch his hind end and then present him the food. Jones is not a fan of this step because he walks away, so we have to keep working on it. Just a light touch and then a feed after to show him that touch predicts a treat. Now you can see I'm turning my hands more into a holding position. Stay at this step until your cat responds positively to your arms around them. That means not walking away and getting excited for their food. Now we're going to repeat what we've previously worked on, but we're going to work on a higher table. Yay. Notice how I draw him up and then I gently put my hand around his back end. He gets to eat his delicious treat in this position. With your arm around your cat, now you're going to lean back and gently guide your cat off the table into the shoulder carry position. Feed your cat in the position and turn towards the table so if they want to jump off at any point, they can. Repeat until it starts to feel more natural for you to hold your cat in this position. Notice when I put him down, he turns around. That's a good sign that it was a positive experience and he's ready for another repetition. If your cat loves their treat, they should be happy to stay in this position. You can stay at this step and work on holding your cat for longer and longer periods. Notice how I take the treat away for just a second and then return it to him. By doing that, I'm saying staying in this position will bring back the food. You also want to give the cat the choice to leave your arms, so that's why it's good to stay near the table. If I put the treat away for a second, does he try to jump off or is he just waiting for the treat again? What you want to see is your cat waiting for more food, not scrambling to get out of your arms. Work towards holding your cat longer before you bring back the food. If your goal is to pick up your cat from the floor, you're going to want to try this next step. Here I'm just encouraging him to put his paws on my shoulder from the chair, and then I'm picking him up. 
Although I'm not showing it here, it would be great to add in standing up and then doing a little bit of walking before returning your cat to the chair. You could also stand up and return your cat to the table. Either way, that would be great to practice. If your goal is to pick your cat up from off the floor, you're going to want to start lowering your position. Stairs are a really great match for this because your cat can be just a little bit higher than you while you encourage them to put their paws on your shoulder and lift them up. Yay. Once your cat responds positively to being in your arms, you can introduce clicker training. Teaching your cat a signal to put their paws on your shoulder can be a great way for them to be a more willing partner in the training. Notice how I warm him up with the target stick, but then I feed him in the position where I want him to be. This is a great way to introduce him to what's coming next. We continue to practice with the target stick until he's totally comfortable putting two paws on my shoulder. I'm using the target stick to give him a very clear signal to go up on my shoulders. I click when he puts his paws on my shoulder and then feed him in the shoulder carry position. I'm gradually retracting the target stick because the final goal is to turn this into a hand signal. Now we're ready to completely fade out the target stick and just use a finger signal. If your goal is to pick your cat up from the floor, you're going to repeat these clicker training steps using the lower platforms like the chair and the stairs and go from there. Thanks for watching and have fun training.